Hmm. Hey everybody, welcome back to another play episode of Let's Play Stupid Games Gone Stupid. On this episode, we are playing Minecart Mayhem. Again. Okay, I think I got it this time. Slow it down so that guy switches in, then I go down. Okay, now I need to go out, and then I have to go... Oh. Okay, I, I guess not. Okay. I, I keep forgetting there's two of them. However, it looks like there's three lanes instead of two lanes this time, so that's kind of good, I guess. Okay, he switched lanes. There we go. Now I'm in. Now I gotta wait for this guy to switch. No, no, I switched! I switched! Okay, if you, like, go one pixel past when you're supposed to turn and you don't turn, the game doesn't let you turn. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Then we'll go slowly until he turns in. Then I'm gonna turn in. Then I'm gonna turn down. Then I'm gonna wait for that guy to turn down. Good. Good. And then we gotta speed up. Damn it. This is hard. I need to skip two at a time, it seems. Okay, let's do this real quick then. Let's go real fast. Gotta go fast. Okay, he starts on the inside, so I have to wait for them both to be on the same side. Okay, there we go. Uh-oh. Okay, well, there we go. Maybe that'll work. Maybe I can just get them both to the same side. Oh, okay, there we go. And now we just wait for them both to reach the same side again. Come on. Then the other one. There we go. And now I just kind of go along the outside. Zoom, zoom! Uh-oh. Oh, well, he's not going to hit me. Meep, 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 meep! Oh, I actually thought there was the time wasn't gonna run out fast enough and I was gonna lose that. Banana. Surprise, motherfucker! And now we use the drums to blow him away and get my watermelons. Nom 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 nom. Monkey loved a watermelon. Apparently. According to Donkey Kong 64. Tons of oranges in this place. Okay, so I saw another fragile box on top, so I'm just going to go up there and grab it real quick. Who knows what's in it? Maybe it's candy. Or maybe it's some deadly neurovirus. Who knows? I doubt they would put something that deadly in a child's video game. But then again... You know, Portal did it, so... Who really knows what to believe anymore? A banana fairy. I freed you, fairy. Now let me take a picture of you. That's the fastest I've taken a picture of a fairy in a while. I feel happy. Okay, so now that we have that... Let's just go down. There we go. Climb down. Okay, there we go. Okay, time to leave this area. And go back and use our invincibility barrel on those rose bushes. Those nasty evil rose bushes of doom and peril. I'm convinced there is something up there. Maybe we can get there from the other side. Oh, we totally can. Maybe there isn't anything up there then. If we can do it from both sides, it's kind of like, hmm, what's the point? Maybe there's just crystal coconut up here and that's it, really. Oh dear, I don't want to hold the R button. That just makes the camera go all wonky. Maybe there's something in the middle over here. Oh, it's just coins. I did see, however, 
Donkey Kong's uh, his main guy. His uh, thing. Don't you punch me. I'll fire in spurts. There we go. I only used 11 coconuts on that. Man, I thought I mashed the button way harder than that. Oh well. Okay, so we got that. Okay, so I think it's time to make it daytime again in this area. Because we've been here. Now I want to go back to the house there. Or the barn, now that I'm able to press down these switches. And make it daytime. I just need to find, uh... Yeah, in order to make it up here, we need to be in daytime as well. And what is over here? Snide's HQ. There's a balloon here for Diddy. Okay. So, Snide's HQ is where we're going to go next. Though I don't really think I need to go here because who do I have the blueprints with? One, two, three... Oh, I actually have all the blueprints. I may as well go to Snide now then take care of... what was that? Oh, it was just the moon. It was the moon! Okay, so I'm gonna make it daytime, then I'm gonna go to Snide's HQ and take care of business there, then I'll return to the one spot. ta -da! Okay, let's see here, where is the cannon to warm me up? There it is. Something else though, those tomatoes were like how do I get rid of them? I still don't understand. Hmm. Kind of weird. Another thing, there was that rocket barrel in here as Diddy that we had to use. But why would we have to use it? I actually don't know. I'm going to quickly become Diddy and we are going to find out. There has to be some reason for it. Otherwise, I mean, why would they even put it here? Plus, I have to be Diddy anyway to go to Snide's because I have bananas for him first, so... Well, the banana balloon, I mean, so we may as well do that. Okay, let's have a look-see. What's at the top of this tree? Nothing much. What's over here? Nothing. We got a branch. Hmm. I don't really think there was much of a point to flying around as Diddy in this area. Yeah, I don't think there's anything up here. It's just a waste of flying. Hmm. This tree looks like a giant pendulum. That's really cool that they made the tree look like this. Hmm. Anyway, I didn't really see any point to that, so maybe I'll find a point to it later, but for now, I'm just gonna go back to Snide. Okay. It's not on me, baby. It's not on me. Blow that guy up. Oh, there's bananas over there. Have I been to this area? It's over here. This whole area here isn't Snide's HQ. I've never been over here yet. What's over here? Oh, well, here we have some watermelons. There is a balloon as Donkey Kong. So there's a reason to be over here as Donkey Kong. I'll do that first, actually, just because I saw a, a Diddy switch. So there's a reason to get onto this house over here as him. So maybe it's a golden banana or something. Ninety bananas. Almost got that medal. Okay, let's see. Diddy. Let's go back. I feel that there's an area that I said I was going to go back to earlier and I just plumb forgot about it. I really hope not. 
because otherwise I'm probably never going to find that area again. Like, this is a gigantic place. Okay, so I have to enter here at night. Which means I could enter this area of the level at night. So that's interesting that I can do that. Okay, so now that we've done this, where was Snide's HQ? I think it was further over to the right here. This guy is going to jump up at me when I get too close. Mast wearing mushroom man. Have you seen... whoops, I meant to pull up the gun again. There needs to be a counter for however many times I do that. Mm -hmm. Though it probably wouldn't be too high. Banana metal! Okay, time to go to Snide HQ. I got banana medals as two Kongs now, I think. Maybe three. Yeah, probably three. Alright, let's see what we got here. Ropes. Aw, oh, that one was boring. I, yeah, I've said this once, I've said it again, I don't think my favorite one will ever, ever leave being, uh, the finger. The finger that gets blown into the button. That is just genius. It's genius. Pure genius. This one's just like, bunk. Why does Snide have all these machines in his house anyway? I mean, I guess he is an inventor, sort of. Sort of. So, he would have use for all these kinds of things, but at the same time, it's like... Hmm. It does make it kind of an entertaining process, but... I still like the idea of like an area where you trade things in like um if you guys remember Super Mario Sunshine in Delfino Plaza where you have to uh turn in the blue coins for uh sun for uh, shine spirits or for shines it's just like you trade in 5 coins and you get a banana or maybe it's 10 no it's 15 yeah you trade in 15 for a banana and it's like okay but here you have to watch this unskippable cutscene. And I know I found out last time that you can just trade in all of them at once at the end of the game, but I like doing this better because it add well it doesn't add substance to the videos. It's just kind of like watching the same thing over and over again for 5 minutes, which is kind of a pain, but at least you're spending quality time with me watching this video. And you're watching me slowly get five bananas per level in a row. So, there's that. I never said it was entertaining. I just said it was, you know... Well, it's entertaining for me, sort of. <laughs> because I get to see what Snide does, and then I get to watch it again and again. You guys just don't know how exciting it is watching a hammer go thunk into a button five times in a row. And then listening to the oh banana. 119 golden bananas. We only have 81 left. Let's have a look at what this machine looks like. Wow. Pretty nice. From the look of this, we still have two worlds to go. So... Pretty nice. Pretty sweet. Okay, so that's all done and over with. Um, I should... Oh right, I, I do want Donkey Kong back. I want Donkey Kong back because I do remember the switch that we have to hit inside that farm has to be done as Donkey Kong. So I'm going to go do that first because I know I'll be distracted otherwise by other things. Um, also, 
there is the matter of the nighttime thing I have to enter over there is Diddy Kong. So I'll take care of that this ep maybe not this episode because we're kind of running low on time, but it will get done eventually. And I'll I'll probably do it next episode if not this episode. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and that should be all 100 coins with DK, because I think I have 90 now. How many times am I going to do this? How many? There we go. Yep, that's all of them. Alright, let's have a look at what these levers do. I have a feeling what two of them do. Okay, so it was the wrong lever. Let's see what this lever does. Okay, that one just didn't do anything. What about this one? You have to push them in the right order. Okay, so this is the first one. Then this one. Then this one again. Nope. Okay. So let's try this again. So we got one. Two. Then this one again. Then this one. Okay, so we got middle, bottom, bottom, top, middle. Oh, cool. And then this probably spits it out the back side. Where, of course, you can only get it at night. Okay, cool. No. Now that this is going, maybe I can put the uh, those barrels on the thing. Tiny Kong barrel. Okay, there was a Tiny Kong thing that she could run through. I know this. I don't remember where it was though. You have messed with the wrong Kong, B. There we go. Okay, now let's see here. There was a hole, was it back here? No, it wasn't. Tiny Kong could leave through a tiny hole in the back. Maybe it was right here. Yeah, it was right there. Okay, so I'm gonna keep those coins there. Uh, where is the barrel? I could have sworn there was a. Oh yeah, it's over here in the corner. Okay, make become chunky. Okay, that didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Hmm. What do these barrels exist for? I don't know. 
Well, maybe I'll figure it out eventually, but right now I'm gonna go back to Tiny Kong and see what's through the door. I don't know why you'd have to be Tiny Kong for this though. Hey! Okay. I know this takes me outside, but what does it do? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a tiny little area. Okay. I didn't know that. Spider web. I can only enter here at night. Okay, so I know the way in. There's the way in at night. There's another tiny barrel. This I have to get as Chunky Kong. These are as Chunky Kong. Hmm. But how do I get through here as Chunky Kong. That must be a door from the outside. Maybe I can only access that at night. Hmm. Okay. Looks like I'm going to have to leave this place and come back. So, on the next episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong 64, we're going to come back here at night barn by night and you guys have seen me change the day a lot then you guys know the number one warp is here so I know where to get in because I saw it before I didn't really say anything out loud so I don't know if you guys knew that I knew so I will see you guys on the next episode take care